Hey, what's up, everybody? Lorenzo with Alternative City Comics here with another Indie Comics review. This week, I want to talk about X-Ray Robot by one of my favorite cartoonists, Mike Allred. Now, I say cartoonists, I'm talking about people who take no... They're not embarrassed to be called cartoonists. Because some artists, they hate that. I, I knew lots of people who would rather be called illustrators, and that's fine. Um, whatever, whatever you choose is great. But when you embrace the name cartoonist, that means something. Uh, some of my favorite cartoons, Mike Allred, um, Dan Clouds, um, and even Robert Crumb, who some may argue is the greatest cartoonist of all time. And these, these artists have embraced this medium and made it something special. Uh, they, but they're not insulted when you call their work cartoony, because cartoony means something. That's the, that, that's a that's a special genre. Okay, that's that that's uniquely. Uh, it's just special, and you should not be ashamed of using the word cartoonist. Anyway, X-ray robot came out earlier this year, right, probably right around the time the pandemic really started getting crazy, and. It, Number two has not come out yet. I'm not sure if it's coming out this week or not. There's not been a lot of books from uh, Dark Horse in the last few weeks. So we'll see. I haven't checked my, my list. Uh, I rely on my uh, my LCS to send me the list of new comics. So, But X-Ray Robot is the story of Dr. Max Wilder. Oh, sorry. It's Dr. Max Wilding. Excuse me. Dr. Max Wilding, one of the coolest names uh, I've heard in recent times. And he's a scientist course and he's working on this project to try and prove the existence of multiple dimensions now he's built this robot this cool ass robot uh, looks retro as hell but uh, still super futuristic and early, early in the book there's a, a female employee of, uh, of the, the laboratory who is being sexually assaulted basically by the, the scumbag who who's the financier of the whole project. Uh, and Dr. Max Wilding just happens to walk out and see this happening. And as she's running away, she said, did you see that? So now she uses this as an opportunity to blackmail the, the person who was um, a real scumbag, as I said, uh, into putting her on the project. And Max uses it as an opportunity to blackmail this guy also to give him more funding for the project. So it's, it's it all works out, you know. So anyway, so now they they start to do the experiment. Uh, they fire up the robot. Uh, Doctor Max Wilding puts this helmet on, um, and he's kind of like he sees what the robot sees. The robot disappears, and then comes back, and then Max pulls off the helmet and goes like, "I saw everything." You know, so he saw whatever the robot saw. Okay, skip to later on the next day. Uh, he's laying in bed with his wife. They have this big fantasy and all this. Uh, it's, well, I'm not sure if he's, if he's dreaming or whatever. Uh, then there's a sequence where his his son is like running away, is running away from him outside. And to Max's eyes, it looks like he's, the kid just like starts di disintegrating or a burning or something it's like you see some future some future reality okay and cut right to the next day so let's ignore all that and they're day two of the experiment so this time Max has built the sweet suit to go along with his helmet and they fire up the robot and the robot disappears again and this time Max goes on this big fantasy it's like a big splash page and and, and all all red greatness, and uh, he, he just travels through these dimensions, and it all takes place in a split second in our time. And when he returns, he and the robot have bonded. I mean, literally, they're just bonded, uh, merged. They, they started to, to become one. And the robot explains to everyone that he's seen the future, and he's seen the possible destruction of mankind, and he needs them, Dr. Max and, uh, and the crew, to help him uh, 
make that not happen. And that's what we are left at the end of the book. I don't mind giving spoilers because this is an ongoing series. Uh, just enough to pick up the first issue. It's worth picking up just for the beautiful artwork, like I always say. Uh, cartooning. Gotta love it. There's a few pages in the back where there's like a, a 3D. I didn't get 3D glasses, so I'm not sure if I didn't get my 3D glasses or whatever. But uh, you can see there's some 3D pages. If you have 3D glasses, you can you can you know put put them on and enjoy those pages a little bit more. I would say. Um, I'm hoping that the new issue comes out soon. I am on board for this. I think it's a 12 issue limited series, a six or a 12, I'm not sure. I have to check it out. But anyway, it is worth your while. And that's um, my review of X-Ray Robot, which uh, I I just love stuff like this. Uh, like I said, you know, he reminds me a lot of Dan Clowes in his style, but the crisp, clean, tight, tidy artwork. You know, some people like the super detailed stuff, which is fine. But you know, I, I personally have a, a preference for the the cartoonist who has a, a clean, crisp look. So that's it for this indie comics review. Like what you saw, leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back next time. And I'll see you in my next video. Hey. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.